Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I just found out about this. Um, my wife told me about this, and also a friend of mine had posted on the Real Milwaukee Bucks fan group about um, this um, with the update with the Bucks and Kings trade. That, um, as you can see right here, sources tell the athletic that the Bucks Kings signing trade was, which was suspected to send restricted free agent Bob and Bob Downs to Milwaukee for Dante Vincenzo, DJ Wilson, and Ersan Ilyasova is in Perlu. As there was never an agreement from the 28 year old small forward to join the Bucks, and that element has become a major issue. High ranking team officials said the deal has issues, and the outcome is clear. So, I had to reread this just to make sure that it makes sense because at first, when I first read it, it didn't make much sense. But so I'm just going to read this part here. Does that mean the trade will not happen? Not necessarily. There are some speculation that this is all breaking now because free agency does not start for two more days. So they can still do this trade, but it can't be like official until free agency starts on Friday. So they just, uh, they explain best case scenario, this is suspended because it's technically illegal for the Bucks or any team to be negotiating with free agents before a free agency opens. I expected to have to wait, I expected to have to wait days to hear about the signing trade with Baldwin for that reason. So, I don't know if they're going to get penalized or anything like that for um, doing this, but but then again, it's like they, you know, they have to, you know, accept the, you know, like the upper office got to accept the trades and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that's kind of understanding. So what that means is like, because Monday the free agency is, can they can officially be signed? Although they claim it wasn't an agreement from Baldwin Bogdanovich, they can um just meaning that they did it a little too early. Besides not doing it on next next Monday, so that all will happen then. Like the trade is still going to happen, but it's just going to have to be delayed. And the video that I put up earlier about um, them getting like a second round pick, but they said, um, I heard three, I thought it was just like one pick in the um, second round of the draft, but now they're saying, that, of course, the number 45th pick that they picked up earlier today, but the 60th pick they picked up from New Orleans during that um, Drew Holiday trade but they said they also got the 42nd pick. So I don't know if what's going on with that because some new sources ain't putting it on there. But um, hold on a sec. Oh, um, but yeah, so, so apparently the Bucks got the 42nd pick, the 45th pick, and the 60th pick. So I guess we'll hear more about it tonight with the um, draft or whatnot. So hopefully they'll clear more of that up. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do another video tonight, talk about the people they pick and just explain more about how good they are. But um, it was another article on here that blamed the scenarios of who they can pick for the 45th pick. But but now we know they got the 60th pick. Something else can happen. So who knows? But um, I'm just joining us. Just once again, it's um, Bonnie Bogdanovich for the the trade to Milwaukee um, is in parallel. Peril. That sounded funny. But um, anyways... Just explain it one more time. That means that the trade is not official and they can't. Right. They just can't do anything about it just yet. Like, it's not going to be official until Monday where free agency, you can start signing people. So 
just to clear that up. So I thank you all for watching. And if you like this, give this a like. Um, and subscribe to our channel. We try and get to a thousand K so we can do more with the channel and give it a like. We'll help more with this channel as well. So till then, everybody, y'all have a good one.